In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize WooCommerce checkout page using Elementor and Shop Engine. And let me show you what we'll get by the end of this tutorial. This is how my checkout page looks like at the moment. And I'll show you how you can change it from this to this one or this one. So, if you want to learn how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to customize your WooCommerce checkout page using Elementor and Shop Engine, you will first of all need an Elementor website. Then next, you go ahead and install the Shop Engine plugin. I already have my Elementor website right here. So the next thing I do is go ahead and install the Shop Engine plugin. So I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to Plugins, click on Add New. And the Search Plugins, I search for Shop Engine. I have Shop Engine right here by WP Med. I've already installed and activated the plugin. So you can also go ahead and install and activate it. Upon activating the plugin, you see Shop Engine right here. So all what you need to do is hover on it, then you click on Builder Templates. Next, I click on Add New. From here, I give my template a name. So I call it Default Checkout. Under Type, I drop down the arrow and I choose Checkout. And I'm going to go ahead and set it as default. From here, I have so many designs to choose from, so you are free to use any of these designs. But I'm going to go ahead and create my template from scratch, so I make sure the blank one is selected, then I go ahead and save the changes. It is created right here and it's also active. Next thing I do is go ahead and edit it with Elementor. Inside the Elementor page builder, you will be taken straight forward to the Shop Engine widgets where we have Shop Engine General, Shop Engine Single Product, Shop Engine Card, Shop Engine Product Archive, and Shop Engine Checkout. You can go ahead and use any of these widgets in your template, but for this tutorial, we are going to be concentrating on the Shop Engine Checkout. Before I start pulling in these widgets, first of all, I need to insert a section. So I click on the plus icon right here, and I'm going to go ahead and insert. A double column section. Next, I go over to Advanced and I'm going to go ahead and add a margin for top and bottom. I'll make it 80. Next, I go back to Widgets and the first widget I'm going to use is Checkout Form Billing. So I just click on it and drag it in here. This will pull in the billing form and you can go ahead and style it using the Style tab or you can even perform some advanced settings. First of all, let's look at Style. In here, you have the opportunity to enable or disable the billing form title. So I can disable it from here or enable it. Perfect. You can change the color, the font size, or even provide margin. For the color, I choose my global colors and I'm going to go ahead and use color 3. Next is field visibility. So at the moment, these are all the fields we have on our form. If you don't want to see any of these fields, you can just go ahead and hide it from here. So for instance, if I don't need phone number, zip code, I can go ahead and hide them from here. Perfect. You can feel free to hide any field you don't want depending upon your shop requirements. Next, I go to form container. In here, you can go ahead and change the container background. So if I click on color, I can choose any color I want like this. In my case, I'm going to use one of my global colors and I will choose white. You can even go ahead and align your text like this. But I think I like the default. And by default, there are patterns at all sides of the form. So you can go ahead and customize it just the way you want. I leave the default for now. Next, I go to label. You can change the color of the label. Maybe I can choose color 3. And the required indicator that is the asterisk here maybe i want to choose red awesome 
you can even go ahead and increase the spawn size or decrease it i leave it as the default which is 16 you can go ahead and add in some margins if you want next is input input has to do with the text in the fields so in here you can change the input text color or even the background color you can also go ahead and increase or decrease the font size you can change the border type the color as well as work on padding if you want to change the color just go ahead and click in here and you can choose whatever color you want like this if i want i can go and choose my global colors i think this color will do i leave the rest of the settings as they are you can also go ahead and work with global font if you want i leave it as it is next i go back to widgets then i scroll down to shop engine checkout the next widget i'm going to use is checkout form additional so i scroll down and i grab it and drop it in here with this your customers can go ahead and add in some additional information if they want in here you have the opportunity to hide or show the heading perfect you can change the font color the size spacing you can even go ahead and work on the form label by changing the color typography as well as spacing for this tutorial i leave it as it is everything is perfect for me if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue next i go back to widgets then i scroll down to shop engine checkout and i'm going to go ahead and grab the checkout order review widget and i'll go ahead and take it to the second column like this first of all i deal with the table header and i'm going to go ahead and change the text color to color 3. you can also go ahead and change the border color typography pattern as well as margin i leave it as they are next is table body everything under table body is cool but you can go ahead and change it as you wish for instance if i want to change the row background color i just come in here and i can choose whatever color i want for me white is cool perfect next i go to table footer i want to change the text color to color 3 the price color i change it to color 3 as well and i'll leave the rest as they are one thing you may want to do is go ahead and add in a title for the order review so i'll go back to widgets and i'm going to go ahead and search for title i grab it and drag it in here then i go ahead and change the text you can also go ahead and style the text just the way you want it for now i go back to content and i'm going to go ahead and change the html tag from h2 to h4 awesome maybe i can go to style and i change the text color to color 3 just to match with the colors of my website so that's it for the other checkout review next i go to widgets and i scroll to shop engine checkout and i'm going to go ahead and grab the checkout payment i drop it in here the label test color i change it to color 3 next is url color i change it from blue to this green url hover color is fine description text color is cool next is payment methods which is all about margins and patterns i don't do anything in here next i go to button and i can decide if i need it to be a full width button or not and i think full width is cool maybe the border type i don't need it to be solid so i'll make it none next i change the background color i'm going to go ahead and use my global colors i can also change the hover color which is cool i leave it as it is and that's it for the checkout payment next i go back to widgets and i scroll down to shop engine checkout you can go ahead and use any of these widgets as you wish already we have used four widgets if you deal with coupon codes on your website you can go ahead and add it let me show you i'll drag it in here so your visitor can drop down the arrow and go ahead and apply their coupon codes we can start it from here i can change the link color like this maybe the hover i want to change it to black perfect i can also change the apply button i change the background color to my green awesome maybe i don't need the border type to be solid 
So you can go ahead and customize it as you wish. I go back to widgets. It should be noted that for you to be able to use some of the widgets, you need to set up how they function under WooCommerce settings. For instance, if I grab in checkout form login, maybe here, you see that this option is turned off from settings. So if I want to see this, I'll have to go back to WooCommerce settings in order to set it up. One other thing I want to do is go ahead and create some spacing at right side of this particular column. So what I do is I select the column, then I go over to advanced and I'll unlink the values under margin and I'll give it a margin of 25 at left. The next thing I can do is increase the width of this column. So I select the column from here, then I go over to layout and I'll give it a column width of 60. Perfect. I think this is cool. One other thing you may want to consider is making your checkout page mobile responsive. So I go to responsive mode. First of all, I look at tablet. Maybe what I need to do in here is provide some space at left and right. So I click on edit section right here. Then I go over to advanced. I unlink the values under pattern. At right, I make it 20. Left, 20. Next is mobile. And I think mobile is cool. Maybe what I can do is work on this column. So I select it and I go ahead and unlink the values under margin. Just to take off the margin I added under the desktop mode. I can exit from here and everything is set. I'll go ahead and update my page. Now, if I go to the front end of my website, this is how my checkout page used to look like. And if I go ahead and refresh it, you will now see the new checkout page we've just created. Awesome. And this looks clean and perfect. Going back to my Elementor editor, in here you can go ahead and customize your checkout page just the way you want it. Maybe I want to change my design to a different format. I can go ahead and grab the other review like this. I bring it down here. I can also go ahead and take the title. Perfect. And finally, I can go ahead and take the checkout payment. And drop it right here. And what I can do is I can take off this column like this. I can even go ahead and reposition the coupon form, maybe under additional information. I can also go ahead and reduce the width of the column. So I go to edit section and I go over to layout and I can give it a width from here maybe 800 perfect so the possibilities are endless this one too is not bad i think i like it and i'll keep it so i'll go ahead and update let's go ahead and take a look perfect so that's it on how to customize the woocommerce checkout page using Elementor and Shop Engine. For more Shop Engine tutorials, I will leave a playlist in the description down below so that you can go ahead and check them out. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.